You know what? I'm kind of inclined to just say, screw it, we're going to kill everyone here. We'll give it one more shot, though. One more shot gone. Let's kill everyone here. All right, bring it on, everyone. Give me Hello and welcome game. back to Fallout. You know, we gave them a chance. We came in. We came down the back way. We tried to talk our way out of this. And they insisted they wanted to shoot us. And so now we've taken all the drugs in the world. We've given drugs to Mar given drugs to Suluk, and we've given, to given them to Vic. We're, we're going to kill some people here. And we've actually taken two doses of two doses of Jet. And so yeah, we can we're gonna we're gonna wreak some havoc now. We we can go, uh yeah that nine spaces without without. Needing to without needing to go anywhere, they don't know what they're what they're in for. Come on, boys, you can do better than that. First, the question is, will the other group survive? <laughs> I, I I do love the shouts in this game. Okay, let's go here. First fire you down. And one, and we'll reload, and you get one too. <laughs> yes, drugs are your friend in this game. Four extra action point is a lot of stuff to take. You are shooting through the wall, did you know that? Oops, you shot your own guy. I guess that's problem solved for us, the tri tribal guy. He, would, he wouldn't talk to us. Brother, he did talk to us, but then he, uh, he basically refused to help us. So we're going to... We're, 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 not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not upset that he dies. Can we get him? Uh, no, we can go for him, I think. Oh, no, we're out of ammo. So we're gonna we're almost out of health anyway. So let's 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 reload, take all of the drugs. There we go, and we'll go over here. That was oh no 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 game game don't do that. You know what? You deserve this. Okay, that leaves one, two, th three. Let's end our turn, end our combat. We heal up real quick. We need to be quick because the, because Jet has a very limited duration. It's the shortest lasting game in the game, and when it, when it comes when, when it ends, we're going to be really stupid and really weak. Stop it, game! Stop it! Why? There we go. And now, lesson learned, we save before we attack that guy. And also we heal up because uh, Vic got torn to shreds in this one. We could wait, but we're not going to. There you go. How how you at now, Vic? Uh, that not not wanted. We want eighty-seven out of hundred two. One more. You know what? Let's use one on on Sulik too. All right, reload. And let's go get that guy and hope we don't crash this time. Hey, we managed to kill him without the game crashing. Th how, imagine that. 
And now we just rush over here and kill the last two base commanders. So look, don't run in front of the guy with a minigun. It's just bad it's just bad for your health. And I realize it's not technically a minigun, but you get the idea. It's a big gun, it, it shoots a lot of bullets, it's bad for your health. However, apparently he doesn't get the point, which is that I'm holding a minigun. And that, you know, you're you're walking towards the guy with that with that. Instead of running away as fast as you can. Lesson learned. And now we get the fun part, which is that any second now our jet is going to our jet is going to run off. We're going to lose, I think, like four points of strength. We're going to be weak as a kitten. And so we need to lo get the looting done as quickly as we can, or at least as as quickly as we can before before we before we um. The words are failing right now. Before before we lose all that strength. Hey, we came up. We got we, we went up a level. We're still not done t taking care of, taking care of all our stuff, but that that's good to have on our side right now. Actually, what what even is our intelligence right now? We might need that might be a good idea to do while while we're still buffed up. You know, we're we're going to quickly Check our intelligence. Do we have any mentats? Yes, yes, we do. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. We're addicted to mentats, but it's okay because we're, we're not addicted to not addicted to jets. There we go. At level. What is this? Level 15. By, either way, it means we get it means we get our our next perk. And what, you know what? We're gonna take bonus rate of fire every single time. This perk allows you to pull the trigger a little faster and still remain as accurate as before. Each range weapon attack costs one AP less to perform. That's basically a free fast shot, except it's um, better because if you if you if you do and you're still aiming, you can actually aim, you know. Uh, what do you want? To, what, what, what do you want our skills? We'll figure that out. Figure it out later because we're still under jet and we need to get rid of all these all this crap. And we got three locked cases and a safe. Let's take care of this. Let's take let's let's take care of the cases first. We get we disable the lock. Wonderful to have lockpick tagged. We get Tuco's dog tags, grenades. We don't really need the need the condoms. We'll take the money. Money is always our friend. There we go. We get Blondie's dog tags. More cash and more ammo. Always worth it. See, that's locked too. Yeah, it's locked. Luckily, we have more than a hundred lockpick right now. <laughs> We get angel eyes dog tags. That'll be the that'll be the next commander, I believe. Less money though, and now we can turn our attention to the safe. You see a huge black iron safe that looks way too heavy to move. There's a combination dial on the front. Um, you know what? We're going to to check. The, oh crap! Our perception and our strength went went down just as we got here. We're going to leave the safe alone, and we're going to let all this stuff wear off. Well, it says we're still addicted. I'm not sure why or to what. I'm. We did. We're not addicted to the jet. We did. We we, did, we didn't get addicted to that. We only saw, we only got addicted when we took the mentats. Hopefully, the restoration project didn't actually change the rate of addiction to mentats, because that's going to be a real that's going to be really bad. Anyway, now that we're here, we're going to examine the safe for traps, because you know. If it gives if it gives you an option to say, do you want to check the traps? You say yes, yes please. We're gonna check until we find some. Oh wait 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 there. Uh, close inspection of the safe reveals a black wire running into the dirt just beneath the safe. Brushing away the dirt, you discover that the fuse runs through a stick of dynamite with a timer on it. Maybe the numbers on three dog tags can open the safe. Hey yeah, that'll work. Uh, wait. First, disarm the trap. Ow. I'm okay. Well, now that the trap's uh, disarmed, <laughs> the numbers on these three dog tags can open the safe. There's a clank. The safe is now unlocked. What do we get? 
we get an account book, uh, more drugs, more stim packs. Hello, hello. We'll take the, we'll take everything, including that lovely guns and bullets. What 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 is our gu small guns at? Seventy one. And when we take it, that goes up to seventy three. Eh. Hardly anything, hardly, hardly much, but it, you know, I'll take it anyway. Okay, what, is it, what did that account book say? That account book said, This account book lists a series of monthly payments made to the, made to the, made to the mercenary band from the Bishop family in New, in New Reno. Well, they're dead, so uh, no payments there. The payments depend heavily on how much pressure the mercenaries put on Vault City. Vault City might be interested in this. <laughs> you don't say. Well, guys, we were on the way to Vault City anyway. There we go, nice, bright, and early. We have, I have brought you, I have that shipment of alcohol you wanted. Here's something for you, that amounts double the price the cases are worth. And this transaction never happened, alright? What transaction? Sure, nothing happened. 250 experience points, sure, Ple pleasure doing business with you. Now, before we go check in with Citizen Lynette, I want to go check the amenities office to see whether they have any books. I'd like to start raising my science and repair, and, well, honestly, I don't want to, I don't want to use skill points. Apparently, you don't value knowledge very highly. There we go. Let's go over to the Citizen before we read those, and we'll be, we'll be right back. Actually, here we are. I delivered your, I delivered your briefcase. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he read the low note, you left the case, tried to kill, no, he didn't do that, um, we're, we're just keeping you on your toes, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Actually, before we do that, we need, we need to head to the correction center, I think, to talk to the person in charge, say, hey, we went, we're the, we're, we scouted, we scouted NCR for ya. Alright then, download the information to my Pip-Boy, and I'll log it into the patrol computers. This intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's payment for your services. Five hundred dollars plus. You might find this useful. What did you give me? It's a Voltec motion sensor. Motion sensor. We're going to strip it for parts since it's too old for our pit boys, but it looks like it's compa compatible with your model. Oh, right, right. You just hold it in. You just hold it in an active slot. Um, it IDs hostiles in your immediate, immediate area when you use it. Okay, thanks. This could be useful. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, any other work for me? Actually, yeah. Do you have any more recon work for me? There is something. i have looking through your reconnaissance reports and I found a small village nearby swarming with the uh, mole rats. That's what the outsiders call them, right? I want you to go there and exterminate all these beasts. Okay, how come? Uh, I don't need to explain my motives to you. I give orders and you take them. That's how it is. If you don't want the job, I'll send a squad to do it instead. But things sometimes get a little messy when I set my boys loose. I'll... Oh, that sounds like the kind of messy I want to avoid, sure. Here, let me show you the exact location of the village. Pay some 50 just come back and, cl and collect once you finish the task. If you don't deal with it in a month, I'll send a squad there to eliminate the monsters and any other threat. Okay, that sounds ominous. What other threats are you talking about, sir? Here we go, let's talk to First Citizen Lynette and give and give her the wonderful news. That, and that, uh... Yes, what is it I can help you with? I have some information about the raiders who've been attacking the city. What is it? Well, I wiped them out. They were holed up in a series of caves in the, in the foothills of the south. You did it! Excellent! You have performed a valuable service for Vault City. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. To think a band of raiders was causing so much trouble. Well, don't act too superior, because they weren't actually raiders. They were mercenaries. Mercenaries? Who hired them? The Bishop family. What? How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Well, I have this holodisc from, from Bishop's safe after I murdered him, and I found this account book in the Raiders' safe, listing payments from Bishop for the three-month campaign of terror against your city, with options for one-month extensions if you, were, if you were stubborn. I'm not surprised. Bishop visited not long ago and suggested an alliance. I refused, of course. We do not associate with criminals. No, you just do the criminal acts yourself. <laughs> and slave any good people lately? Um, yeah. I think he expected that. I found this holodisc in Bishop's safe. He was hired by NCR to get Vault City to join the Republic. 
When he refused his offer, he hired the mercenaries to attack him, so, so he would ask NCR for help. Of course. They sent mercenaries to murder my people because I wouldn't join their government. I... I can barely believe it. Well, if there's anything I could do to help... Oh, holy crap, look at that experience... That experience dump we just got. Is there anything I can do to help? I need you to go immediately to New California Republic and find Counselor Weston. Roger Weston. Give him the hollow disk. That should ensure no more raiders get hired. Well, we, we, uh, backtrack a bit. Go to the NCR, the people who were hiring the raiders. Is that what I heard? Is that what I'm hearing? Roger Weston is probably the only honest man in the New Republic and sympathetic to our cause. All right, I can do that. Right after I go and uh, take out this village of mole rats, apparently. Your patriotism will not go unrewarded. Go now. Time is of the essence. Uh, you can count on me, first citizen. Butter her up. I'll return after I've delivered the disc to Weston. And after I go talk to some mole rats, apparently. Actually, while we're here, let's go talk to the guy in the servant allocation center. We weren't able to make uh, that speech check earlier to free, the, to free the slave, but we've raised our speech craft since then. Uh, I'm looking for a servant named Joshua. Yes, we do have a servant by that name, but you wouldn't want him assigned to you. Training him has been difficult. I'm not certain he can be trained. Uh, act yeah, I, I don't want him assigned to me anyway. Far from it, I'm concerned he might be infected. With what? Perhaps you've noticed the lowered, le lowered energy level of your servants recently? Short attention span? Their inability to hear orders and follow them correctly? These are only the early stages. I have noticed that in the servants of late. Contagious, you say? Well, if this Joshua is a carrier, I shall release him at once. Give me a moment to make the arrangements. <laughs> Imagine that. Slaves don't want, to, don't want to obey you. Yeah. Joshua will be better off on, with the outworlders anyway. It is John. It is done. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City, and he has been moved into the courtyard with the rest of the outworlders. Hopefully he won't hopefully he won't make his infected way back into the city. There we go. Good deed done for the day. Now where is this village? It's over here by the Federation shuttle. Uh let's go check it out. Hey you, what are you doing here? As you enter the small village, your nose is assaulted by the familiar stench of rodent. You see several mole rats milling about. Strangely, they don't they don't seem interested in attacking you or the peasants that dwell here. Well, let's put our gun away. Be nice and polite. Hello. Stay where you are for now, Wanderer. What are you doing here? Uh, what's it? I was planning on killing off the mole rats. These creatures are the only thing stopping Vault City from making us their so-called servants. Well, that explains the guy's reluctance to tell me that. Yeah, they didn't exactly mention that. You leave them at face value? You have a lot to learn about the world, friend. Well, what can I do to help? The Vault City boys aren't the bravest. You show them any kind of a fight and they run for the hills. If we had a few guns, I think we could hold them off. Um, I could do that for you. What kind of guns are you looking for? You're serious about helping us, aren't you? Alright, if you're up for it, then some rifles would be, would be ideal. That way we can start picking them off from a distance. So if you truly want to help, then bring us some automatic rifles. Four would do it. Oh, and a shotgun, a shotgun would, be nice, would be nice too, in case things get close and dirty. Um... Actually, maybe you guys don't have to fight. I mean, there's a, there's a reasonable man on the council of Vault City, senior council senior council member McLure. I'm, if I if I talk to him, I'm sure we could we come to a reason to a peaceful solution. Eh. You really think any of those big shot council members get give give a darn about what happens to us? Don't be so naive, my friend. Those those guys in Vault City can't be trusted. Now please go find Joe in, the, in Vault City. If he's not in the bar, he's probably not far from it. All Joe know what to do. If you can trust him, please hurry. Uh, you know what? I will try that. I'm gonna try my way first, though. I do have faith that peace is possible. Counselor McClure, if, if we could have some words, sir. Could I ask you a few questions? Um, do you know anything about a nearby village that's swarming with mole rats? Actually, yes. Sergeant Stark reports something on this to me, to me recently. What interest do you have in the matter? Do you really intend to make servants of those people? Recruiting servants is not the issue here. The issue is the threat that these monsters pose to Vault City. According to Sergeant Stark's report, the people of that village seem to coexist with those huge red creatures. If that's true, they may have found a way to control them, and perhaps that's why these creatures have begun to attack our patrols. Sergeant Stark plans to eliminate these pests, and he has my full support. Well, actually, 
I know they're not controlling them. In fact, I've got a proposition for you. I'll take care of the mole rats, and in return, I want your assurance that Vossi will leave the people of the village alone. An interesting proposition. How exactly do you plan to deal with all, with all those rat creatures? Don't really know, but I'll think of something. Very well, then. I'll take your word for it. The raid will be postponed for a month. You won't regret this. I'll be back when this once the problem's taken care of. All right. Now, before we go, let's check out the guy in the courtyard, because we it's good to have our options open. What did they say his name was? Uh, somewhere in the bar, they said, or near to it. Oh! I'm betting that's you. You look unique. An old man with a crazy gleam in his eyes. <laughs> sure, that sounds like a guy who's promoting armed rebellion. Haven't seen you in a while. Do I know you? Well, it has been a while. What have you been up to? Uh, this and that. Where do you know me from? Don't remember me, do you? Well, you do seem to be a bit, be a bit young. What are you trying to say to me? Oh, well, you better be careful around here. Things ain't as clear as they once were. You best watch your back. Uh, thanks for the tip. I think you're the guy I need to talk to, though. Connor sent me to, sent me to get you some things. Connor, huh? He's a good guy. I'm keeping my eye on, on things for him. So what does Connor want now? He wants some weapons. I think, but I think there's a better solution. So that's his new plan, huh? Yeah, Connor's a good man, but he doesn't always think things through all the all, think things all the way through. Sometimes it's best to talk things out and try to reason with people. That's what I learned from my old friend, the Vault Dweller. Oh my gosh, it's Ian! It's Ian! I think. What well, I think McClure might be the man to talk to. He'd be your best bet. He's the only one in the console that has a reasonable soul left. Yeah. I'll try to speak to him, but first I was curious about the mole rats that are guarding the village. What about them? Who's controlling them? That I'm not sure about. A bunch of ghouls came by with them. They were carrying strange amulets and talking about some renewal. That's pretty much all I know. You might want to check out Gecko, though. The place is bustling with ghouls. Speaking of big rats, did I ever tell you how the f about the time the Vault Holder and I went to Vault 15? <laughs> no, but I know the tale. Maybe I'll go see what I can find in Gecko. Take care. So I'm pretty sure that's Ian. I mean, he's got the same jacket, kind, kind of faded jeans now. The problem is, is that in the Vault Dweller's memoirs, he said Ian died. He, he died in Necropolis to, to, some super mutant, to some super mutant with a flamer. So maybe it's the ghost of Ian? Yeah, I, I like that explanation. Anyway, onwards to Gecko. What's going on here in town? Uh, thank you kindly for fixing up our atomic reactor. My friends, anyway, anyways, other than that, my friends, Woody's done gone, done gone missing. Woody, you say? Well, you see, I had a friend named Woody. And that Woody, he can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worse, he likes to travel. Really likes to kick with the dust, that one he does. Okay. That ain't so much of a problem around here, that is. But last I heard, Woody was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know where that is? Yes, I've been there many times. Go on. Well, anyhow, like I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem around Gecko. See, the problem in other, in other parts ain't so used to the way we look. And? Can't you put two and two together? Well, I can, but apparently my, my, my character can't. I'm worried that Woody might have taken himself a nap in the den. It's a long trip, after all, and then he would have buried the poor cuss alive. I need someone to go look for him there. Well, I'm missing, that's why. Oh, I see, you want to know what's in it for you. That is usually the part where I get more interested. Yes, go on. Well, I don't know I, where... Well, I know where I can get a hold of the heck of a lot of pre-war pre sock of Jan, you wine, rad X, and rad away. Don't do me no good, no how. But I figure that ought to get you. Ought to be worth something to be smoothie like you. You gonna take the job from me or not? I'll only pay you off if I, if I know Woody's safe. Uh, sure. No skin off my nose. I, got, I gotta go to the den anyway, just just to get to the, back to the vault, back to Arroyo. I'll get back to you soon. That still leads us no further to our leads, though. <sighs> we'll just go through one building at a time. Uh, nothing actually... Oh, hello, we got a hole here. Right behind the wall. You've entered the underground tunnels of Gecko. 
I had no idea this was here. Uh, let's be unarmed, be nice. A ghoul with some kind of talisman around his neck. Hello, that's what, that's what, oh, that's what we're looking for. Hello. You too can renew. Is this like some kind of re, re, reduce, reuse, recycle kind of stuff? Oh, that looks like a giant mole rat there. Yes, it does. What the heck? My, my thing went crazy for a, few, for a few seconds there. Can't He wants to see you, I think? Who's he? Is is he the mole rat? Renew, comrade. I am Zomak. Some call me Zomak the Destroyer. What is your business here? I am wish to renew, I guess? Then you must see him. Where is him? Uh, I mean... I mean, I mean he. He is the grantor of enlightenment. It is he that promises renewal to all who follow him. Well, I guess I could do with a renewal and could new, get a new license. Where is he? Well, he's right back. Hey, just who are you anyway? I'm the chosen one. Well, you should choose to leave. Get out of here. Come on, please. I wish to renew. Um... I'm just here for my annual renewal. Well, in that case, come on in. He's right in the next room. Don't keep him waiting. I'll go right in. Don't, don't, don't I, won't, I won't keep him waiting. So I'm guessing this is he on an unusually large mole rat. I remember a mole rat like you before. So many things pass away. Times are not what they were. I feel that my sore remaining kin has died. Mad though he was, I wish it were not so. I had hoped that he might find some happiness even in his, in his dotage. Oh, you're King Rat's brother, aren't you? Or cousin or something like that. Okay. You received the reactor data disk. Now you have to use it. Uh, excuse me, what? Um... Vol City's patrols keep getting attacked by mole rats. I assume you're the one behind it? Why, of course I am. All part of my grand scheme to take over the world. I would expect your deficient human brain to understand. But last, what concern is it of yours? Kingy and the brain. You're the brain. You're a rat plotting to take over the world. Well, despite your feelings about a rodent ruling the world, the actual proposal would benefit thousands of Altidians and, and Gecko citizens. You may not care for me or my, mo me or my motives, but the re results are still worth working for towards. Um... I just want your more to stop attacking Vault City's patrols. Do you? Interesting. All right, I propose a deal, human. I shall comply with your request if you complete a certain task for me. That will be? The reactor is repaired, yes, but is it optimized? No, I'm afraid not. I said I call my Morats when you complete the task. Getting it half done isn't good enough. Um... The people... I, I feel like I've stumbled in here half... Oh, he's going to ask me to finish... Fixing the reactor, wasn't he? Yeah, look, if you, if you don't call off the attacks, people in the village could end up enslaved by Vault City. Most interesting. I thought you were concerned about the well-being of Vault And here I thought you were concerned about the well-being of Vault City. Anyway, the safety of, the village is, of, that, of that village is integral to my plan. Therefore, I shall grant your request, human. Okay, good. Job done. What were you saying about the optimization? Go use it. Okay. Uh, use it on the Vault City Central computer. Uh, da, 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 you can go to McLur. This The reactor's running not very efficiently. I'm sure that... Oh! We need to use the Vault City Central Computer to analyze our, our reactor's output reports. Didn't we already do that? Da, 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 da. That sounds like a great idea. You know, I could have sworn we got that data already. Let's go check again, though. Just need to go inside the vault, use this on the computer. Um, oh, hello, uh, Vic's daughter. Where's the such computer at? If it's anything like the vault I've heard tales of, it's probably gonna be downstairs and at the very bottom, right? On floor three.
Let's pull out that reactor holodisc. And use it on the central computer. Uh, science? Da, 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 da. Insert the Gecko plant power plant disk into the computer. Uh, plant calibration. Do you wish to optimize? Yes, begin the optimization procedure. Begin the optimi optimization procedure. Optimizing, optimization complete. Please remove the disk. Actually, while we're, has anything come online while, while we were here? Uh, no. Good. Back to Gecko we go then. There we go. Hopefully that worked. Festus! Thanks for getting the data we needed from Vault City to optimize this leaky old beast. You're a sly one, no denying it by a cracky. Almost as good a job as I could have done myself. Of course, if you want to actually actually finish the job finish the dang job, just use the disc on the robot control terminal. Understand that? Okay then. <laughs> yeah, I don't like I don't like I don't like leaving the job half done. Just one more step. And we should be able to should be should be done, I think. Back. Where is it at? Use that on the terminal. The optimization procedure was successful. Yes. Thank you. That was a wonderfully convoluted quest. Now I just need to go back and tell the magic rat that we did its job for it so we can call up its goons so that Vault City won't attack the sweet people and so we can go to McClure to talk, stop talking to people and eventually one day we might be able to get some sleep. Good news, I, good news, I fixed your reactor, fixed your problem. Good news, I've optimized the reactor, I fixed your problem. You have done well, both Vault City and Gecko have a reason to rejoice with our reactor working at top efficiency. My plan to take over the world made near fruition. I may leave, I have work to do. Big plans for an overbed rat, goodbye. Good news, I solved your problem! It's amazing, the more attacks on our patrol suddenly stopped suddenly without warning. I don't know how you did it, but I, but I thank you. Also, I shall uphold my end of the bargain. All orders start to cancel the raid at once, as long as the people of that village pose no threat to Vault City. They'll have nothing to fear from us. I'll see to that. Thank you! Yes? What is it I can help you with? Have you resolved the situation? I took care of Gekko's power plant. You shouldn't have any more trouble with it leaking radiation. So, you disabled their plant? It's all taken care of. Excellent. You have conducted yourself as a true vault citizen. Thank you for citizen. Ian, I've solved your problem. Okay, let an old man rest. Screw you then. Connor, I've solved your problem. I've convinced the Vault City Council not to touch your village. They're seriously going to just leave us alone? I'm saying, how do you do that? I swear if you're BSing me. Trust me, I was able to pull some strings and broker a deal, but the deals don't matter. The, the important thing is that you and your people are safe now. Thank you for the money we hurt. By the way, I still don't know your name. It's Shetty. You're always welcome here. See you around. I've solved everyone's problem. Is anyone not satisfied with this deal? Nobody? Good. I wasn't going to change it anyway. <laughs>